If you recently called 911 for help and realized it took longer than usual for an operator to even answer, you are not alone. There is a critical need um, for emergency 911 communications operators across the state. The Putnam County Emergency Communications Center needs to hire 10 operators and other agencies across Northeast Florida. They're also short on dispatchers. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avenier explains why so many agencies across the state and the rest of the country are dealing with this problem. Putnam County 911, what's the address of your emergency? Here inside the Putnam County Emergency Communications Center, 911 operators are in charge of dispatching sheriff's deputies, firefighters, and paramedics, as well as Palatka police officers. But if you look closer, you'll notice vacant workstations. These should have bodies in those seats to be answering these 911 calls. Colonel Joe Wells says this emergency communication center doesn't have enough 911 operators to keep up with the growing demand for emergency services. We're only about 60% staffed. We need dedicated communications operators um, badly. To be exact, they need to hire 10 more people, and they're not alone. Duval County has 41 openings. Clay and St. John's counties both need to hire seven operators, and Nassau County needs to fill two operator positions. The yearly salaries for these jobs can range from $32,000 to $44,000. Colonel Wells says those lower salaries are part of the reason why many people quit because they feel it's not enough money to deal with the daily demands and emotional stress that come with handling emergency calls. The pay can be challenging if you're uh, raising a family on that pay. We're working very, very hard, you know, not only in our agency but across the state to get those salaries up. This means agencies have to think outside the box to recruit new employees. Here in Putnam County, they're trying to fill some of those positions by going after 18-year-olds who just graduated from high school who may be thinking about a career in law enforcement. We look at it at two different ways. It may be someone who wants to use this as the first stage of a career in law enforcement, or it may be someone that's coming right out of high school that would just like to make a career of our communication center. High station school graduates who become three, trained as 911 operators three, and then work here for a year become eligible to receive college tuition assistance. Eric. Eric Avenier reporting there. If anyone's interested in a career in emergency communications in the local counties we mentioned in the store, you can go online to our website at newsforjacks.com. We have posted links to those specific job listings.